As the nation focuses on National Women's Day today, Amnesty International is holding a march in Durban to protest against gender discrimination, cruelty, rape and violence against women and children. Our SABC News reporter filed this report. Thank you very much. You are here at the Durban North Beach where the Amnesty International Durban is out today to distribute our pamphlets and educate the public on the best possible response to matters of abuse and gender-based violence. And this is to commemorate our Women's Day. As you know, that today is a Women's Day. But I'm joined with me, the Deputy Chair of Amnesty International Durban, Coral Vincent, is going to tell us more. Ma'am, thank you very much much for your time. Just tell us briefly the activity you are here today to do. Amnesty International Durban always marks Women's Day every year and last, in last, no, 2019 we, we decided to do something about gender-based violence and so we met here and we handed out some leaflets and then because of lockdown we didn't do anything in 2020 so 2021 we decided to redo our little um, flyer and so we, we've made several flyers which, are, which have contained helpful information to assist people who've been abused. Gender-based violence is a scourge in our country and we are we, we are so appalled by the, the rate of, of gender-based violence that we we always uh, we're concerned about it and we wish to do something about it. So that's why we're meeting today and handing out our flyers. Now, uh, off air you were telling me uh, about your dissatisfaction in the way that the country deals with uh, the issue of gender-based violence. Yes. The, the president has, has, uh, has mentioned gender-based violence, but nothing is really done about it and it, it, it increases and increases and at this very moment um, although the uh, Bengi Pele has, has appointed a, um, a board to look at the, the backlog in DNA testing they've only met once since 2020 and the backlog is 1.2 million samples and that's a disgrace and so what happens is that that women who are abused are doubly affected in that the cases are dropped because there's no DNA sampling uh, available to confirm what has happened to them and the perpetrators just go scot-free and go on perpetrating the violence against women. Now we know that uh, Women's Day is commemorated nationally. We hope that the president will later in the day uh, give uh, a message. What do you hope will be in his message when it comes to issues of abuse and gender-based violence? Well, I, I don't think that we commemorate this day. We mark it. It is not a, it is not a day that we celebrate. It's, 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 um, it's a very important day. And, it, and our country have, have looked at the role of women in society, but they are not protecting women. And I think that he has to put in place some definite measures and implement them so that women are, are, great, are protected in, in a better way and also the police stations and the, the district surgeon's offices are not suitable places to interview women who've been abused. They're shocked and, and to have to come into a cold, un, un, uh, uh, where, the, where the, the police officers are not sympathetic and they tell women just to go back to their homes because often the perpetrators are family members or close friends of the family. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, that was Coral Vincent, the chair of Amnesty International Durban, uh, telling us uh, their dissatisfaction uh, when it comes to how the country deals with the issues of uh, gender-based violence. She was also mentioning the backlog that she says is in the different police stations. But for now, let's take it back to the studio.